Welcome to today's video where I would love to share with you some of the best astronomy gifts that you can get somebody, whether it's their birthday, whether it's for Christmas, or whether you just want to spoil them. Now, these gifts will vary in price, and I do want to introduce a number of different options, including these and a few bonus extras, um, that, you know, they're the kind of things that I wish I was given, um, or perhaps I hadn't thought about when I first started getting into the hobby. So with that said, all of the links to all of these are going to be in the description. You can get all of them on Amazon. Uh, you probably get the best price there as well. I just thought I'd mention that. They will be affiliate links. I do have to mention that as well. But as you can see, I've got all of these uh, myself. I bought them all from Amazon. So yeah, with that said, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you find a gift for that person that you absolutely love, uh, particularly who's into their astronomy. So the first gift I'm going to recommend is the Celestron Night Vision LED flashlight. Now this is a very affordable gift and it's something that a lot of astronomers kind of neglect to get or just they kind of leave it a while. So what it is, as the name suggests, is a little flashlight. I like the way it's um, branded with Celestron, you know, a lot of people just get a generic flashlight but it's nice to have something that kind of matches their uh, equipment and and you know is is astronomy branded so it's a great size it's a great weight you can carry it around your neck you can put it in your pocket or in your backpack operating it is a breeze it's got this little uh, kind of scrolling button on the side you can hear it click on and it is bright here today so you won't be able to see its full effects i'll drop another little video a little clip of it in the dark in a moment but this is essentially what it looks like it's a great little device very lightweight very affordable and it's something that people often forget when they're you know um, observing the sky at night so here is a recording of the night vision led flashlight in the dark so i've obviously waited for the sun to go down and I'm in the garden, I've got the garden light on just so I can see where I'm going for now. That will turn off in a moment. But it is a really, really good little device. I'm just going to turn it on now and point it towards the grass just so you can see how effective it is. So that's actually quite a distance in front of me. And as you can see, it's really, really uh, powerful. The garden light's now gone off and if I put this on the patio, you can just see how strong that is. So it's a really good little gift. It's small, it's lightweight. Um, nice and you know you can put that in your new pocket, you can put that in a bag, you can carry it around your neck, it's got a neck string, I don't know if you saw that, let me go back onto the garden lamp and you can see that. So here we go. But yeah, it's a really nice little device, it's very different, a lot of people don't uh, know these exist or, or wouldn't have thought to have got one. Um, so yeah, just a really nice little gift and I'm, uh, yeah, I love this, it's a great... The second gift, which I would strongly recommend, is a Celestron lens pen or an equivalent of some kind of optics lens pen. So this essentially enables anyone with binoculars or a telescope to clean uh, their optics safely and just to make sure that they can remove dust and any other contaminant on their optics. So you do want to use a device that is um, safe. So what I like about this one in particular is it's, it's got this retractable brush so it keeps it safe at all times if I just get it out. Uh, you can use this on binoculars, telescopes. So if anyone you know already has binoculars or a telescope, then something like this uh, is always gonna be appreciated. Perhaps make sure uh, they haven't got one already. But yeah, it's a, it's a brush like this. It's really, really good, it's really effective. And just make sure no scratches or anything is ruining their, their, their views of the sky. So yeah, this is a really, really good um, product. I'm really impressed with it. So yeah, Celestron Lens Pen is gift recommendation number two. Now this gift is something that I probably would suggest. Out of everything I've shown you so far, this is one of my absolute favorites. So it's actually, uh, it's an astronaut, it's a starry uh, night projector. So I will show you shortly exactly what happens when you turn it on. But it's in the style of an astronaut, as you can see, it's got a really kind of cool effect. It's, he's standing on the moon. Um, this is the base that you put, put him in. It's very sturdy. And the head itself rotates on its axis. Um, so you can point uh, the projector at any kind of wall you like, including the ceiling, or maybe even just here. As you can see, it actually comes off um, and it's magnetic. Um, it's, it's operated via uh, the mains electricity. So it kind of constantly runs. Uh, you can also operate it via his kind of uh, oxygen tank, but you do get a controller as well uh, to operate it. Uh, I'm not sure if we've got that to hand. Yeah, here it is. Uh, here's the controller to operate it. And you can basically put nebula and stars on the sky. And I love it of, of an evening. It's really relaxing. It brightens up the room in a really cool way, as you'll soon see. Uh, but it's also great for kids. Um, it's also great, for, you know, 
everyone who loves kind of Stars Nebula will, will absolutely love this. It's very affordable as well. Um, it came really, really quick, packaged really well, and just really fun and unique. So a great gift that I'd recommend. So here is the astronaut on, and I just wanted to show you exactly what it looks like in the dark, because obviously you get the full effect. So here he is, and let's just point it to the ceiling. And there's our nebula, and here are our stars. It's absolutely brilliant. It covers the entire room. So many different settings. And let me just get the controller one second. The, uh, the nebula colors you can change. It, honestly, it's so good. I really, I'm a huge fan of this. It's, it's great. I've got a young little boy and he just stares at it. He absolutely loves it. All the different colors. And yeah, how it just kind of takes over the room. The stars coming, look. Absolutely brilliant. Next up, I'm going to recommend a pair of binoculars. Now, I'm not sure if the individual you're buying for has uh, they need binoculars already, or maybe even a telescope, so you may want to check ahead of time. But if you want an affordable pair of binoculars, then I personally wouldn't look any further than the 12 by 60. These are probably, um, in terms of price and what they can do in versatility, these are probably the best ones you can guess uh, for both astronomy and terrestrial uh, purposes at least if you want to hold them and you don't want to buy any extra equipment so i'm just getting them out of the travel bag now which comes included um, and as you can see they're a great size and weight um, they're i've actually lost one of the lens caps that must be in the bag when i was getting it out um, but you know you do get those two caps to keep them protected let me see if i can get that out quickly uh, just to show you yep i lost it um, but yeah they're a great size so you can hold these for extended periods above head and chances are regardless of who you're buying them for they won't be uh, too heavy for them and as I say you can use them for terrestrial use as well so these are really really versatile for someone who's maybe a bit stronger or maybe you've got a, an additional budget you could look at the 15 by 70s um, they're also really really good I'd recommend them as well um, but as I say I think for a gift I don't think you're going to go wrong with the 12 by 60s um, but yeah you've got options here um, and if you want to go even further you can even go to the 20 by 80s but they will likely require a tripod as well and they're on, on the more expensive side so yeah I think these are a good um, entry level uh, and good for a gift so this gift naturally follows on from the last one and this is a tripod now this is the K&F concept tripod and it's absolutely brilliant it's one of the most affordable so I went for the this is actually the cheaper uh, aluminium one I think it's around $50 um, so it's yeah it's very affordable um, but this is great for anyone who's got binoculars or perhaps if you've got the budget and you want to get them binoculars and a tripod then you could perhaps get um, binoculars with a with a larger aperture uh, so for instance you could get the 20 by 80s or you could even go 25 by 100 obviously those binoculars can be more expensive but they'll be much better uh, at seeing things in the night sky so just bear that in mind but here's a really good really good tripod very easy to set up takes about two uh, or a minute I'd say uh, when it's kind of completely collapsed and it comes in a really nice travel bag it's really really versatile it's you've got this adapter that comes with it so it fits most um, binoculars uh, but you, I mean you may need an extra little adapter um, to, to put your binoculars on but for the most part this should suffice and it comes with it but yeah it's a really really good tripod very sturdy very lightweight and I'm really impressed with getting it it also looks fantastic so that's another gift option for you just as a quick added point, this is an example of a binocular tripod adapter that you may need depending on the tripod you opt for or depending on the binoculars and what comes with them. Some do come with an adapter, so just you may want to check ahead of any purchase, but this is the kind of thing, if I zoom in there, what you may need. Very easy to set up, very easy to, to use, but I just thought I'd show you just as, to give you an idea as I mentioned that in the previous video. So here is the tripod, completely collapsed and in its travel bag. I just thought I'd show you exactly kind of how small it is and just the bag that it comes in. Very light, very easy to transport. You can see this by the size of my hand, how small it is. So yeah, fantastic little uh, tra uh, travel tripod that you can take on the go. So the next recommendation is the Celestron 70 travel scope and I've just quickly set it up here that's the uh, travel bag that you get included with it which is actually really really nice it's a great size it's really well padded so it, just that alone is actually just really really nice um, but the travel scope itself is very affordable it takes about two to five minutes to set up once you get the hang of it maybe first time around it's probably about 10 minutes but you get instructions with it 
but this is just a really really good setup a quick setup telescope that anyone who's getting into astronomy would really really appreciate now even if they've got a telescope at home this is really good for obviously as the name suggests traveling with going on on the go um, maybe just if they want to kind of have like a, a few nights away here and there it's just great for that very compact and it's yeah you get some really really good views of particularly the moon and things like that um, but yeah I'm really really like this travel scope it's very affordable it makes a great gift depending on um, obviously who you're buying for but yeah I'd strongly recommend the travel scope um, it's a great option uh, so to, to consider now this gift is absolutely brilliant so as you can see it's a moon lamp so you get this little controller with it so it comes um, you can turn it on in various different colors and also varying degrees of um, brightness and you can also put it on a timer setting as well so let me just turn it on to show you how good it is so I really, really like it in the white colour because obviously that looks so much like the moon. But if you look closely, it, the attention to detail is absolutely amazing. And because it's on this kind of small little stand, it has that kind of really cool kind of floating effect. So yeah, I absolutely love this. It's great. It's not, it's a, it's a good night light. It doesn't provide too much light as well. Um, so it's really nice, kind of subtle, subtle light for when you're kind of working. You can, as I say, change the brightness. I'm doing that now. You can see it's getting brighter and brighter. Hopefully you can see that. Let me just go through some of the colours. So we've got red, uh, kind of orange, more amber, and then a yellow. There's a green setting. So yeah, there's lots of different options here. Blue, uh, and as I say, we've got the white as well. And then the, different, the timer settings as well. So you can put it on for uh, between 15 minutes and 60 minutes, uh, depending on what you want it for. You can have it as a fade, you can have it flash. Absolutely brilliant, really affordable, and it's just really cool, a little bit different and a great gift. The next unique astronomy gift that I would recommend is called Piece of Space. Now this is a really interesting uh, gift. It's actually a piece of a shooting star uh, that I believe landed in Argentina. Um, I think it was around 5,000 years ago. Um, but it comes in this really nice um, kind of container. And if I just open it up, sorry, I'm struggle to do with my hand. Um, you get this really cool certificate which you can put your name on, oh, or the, 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 sorry, the recipient can put their name on. Uh, it comes in this really nice sc scroll effect. And then if I just pour it out, it is quite small, but it is still really, really cool. Uh, it is a piece of real shooting star, a bit of meteorite. Um, and yeah, it's hard to see, but it, it comes in this little packaging. And it's just really, really cool. You know, you can take this out. It's just, it's something very unique, very different. And I like the certificate as well. So it's great for kids. So yeah, I really was impressed by this. Um, yeah, another lovely little gift that I would consider.